craft a space that both you and your partner love without having a meltdown? Is that even possible? Welcome to Interior Motives, where we solve wildly specific interior design troubles and craft a space that perfectly meets your design needs by exploring Wayfair's vast selection. Today, our goal is to design a space that feels like home to both you and your partner. And while the two of you are madly in love, you definitely aren't loving that you have to blend two distinctly different design styles. It's so cute that opposites attract until it comes to choosing home decor. So let's figure out a way to make it work. This is a lofty goal, but I know we can do it. First, you need to sit down and identify your different design styles. If you're struggling to articulate your interior design style or just don't know what yours is, take some time to check out the room ideas on the Wayfair website. All of the rooms have descriptions that detail their design styles. This will help you to put a name to your style. Once you and your partner have identified your styles, it's time to make a list or a Venn diagram identifying your style similarities and differences. For the sake of today's video, one partner will love mid-century modern design and the other will love traditional design. MCM, or mid-century modern, is characterized by wood, mostly teak, clean and geometric lines, a neutral color palette with pops of color, and greenery. Whereas traditional design is characterized by dark woods, clean lines, symmetry, a neutral color palette, and oriental and persian style rugs of course i couldn't make this example too easy for you we're supposed to be on the verge of a meltdown right so where's the overlap mcm and traditional design share a love of wood clean lines and neutral colors this means we are definitely going to incorporate these features getting the living room design right is incredibly important when moving in with a partner for the very first time it is the part of the home used to welcome both of your family and friends so it should adequately represent each of you perfecting the bedroom design is also crucial because the bedroom is the primary place for rest and relaxation if a space is not conducive to good sleep everyone will end up unhappy one you need to make sure that you have two of most things. That's right, two nightstands, two lamps, two chairs. You aren't living alone anymore and you aren't going to sit on each other's laps to read a book. There needs to be room for each person to comfortably and independently exist in the space. Two, scale also needs to be more heavily considered. Scale is always extremely important in interior design because we want to make sure that the furniture pieces look nice together. But scale also keeps the space maneuverable and safe. I'm saying this because there's always a partner who claims that the piece of furniture that's two feet too big for the space fits perfectly. You need to quit while you're ahead. A good example of this is a media console that spills over into a hallway so much so that you easily and frequently bump into it. This really becomes an issue when two people live in a space, so it is best to scale things appropriately. Okay, now let's start designing. I'll start with wood tones. MCM normally has teak wood tones and traditional design typically has dark wood tones. To make it easy, let's split the difference. Teak is way too polarizing, and for the sake of your relationship, it isn't gonna make an appearance. Here's a good design and relationship lesson. Know when to choose your battles. In the bedroom, let's add this cherry wood dresser. With eight drawers, it has ample storage for both of your clothes, so you can skip the fight you already had scheduled over who gets more drawers. In the living room, we're going to add this wooden coffee table. It caters to both design styles because of its clean lines and emphasis on function given its abundant storage. Its wood tone is definitely more traditional. To contrast this lighter coffee table, we're adding this organic wooden side table, which breaks up the monotony of the space. The sculptural lines of this side table act as a piece of art in this room. Let's move on to clean lines because again, we're trying to keep the peace. 
This accent chair has extremely angular lines that you'll notice anytime you enter the room. So does this cozy brown sofa. This sofa has more of an MCM influence due to its coloring and low profile back. We're pairing it with these accent pillows to make it the ideal place for lounging. Now, let's discuss neutral colors. Regardless of your design style, the bedroom is meant to be a place of serenity. So we're going with the sandstone bed. Its shape is common in both MCM and traditional design, so everyone should be happy. At this point, we've expanded beyond items that work for both design styles. So, to ensure that the relationship survives, here's what I want you to do now. Each partner now gets to choose an item within their design style. Then, they should choose the configuration, whether that be coloring, height, pattern, or otherwise, that complements their partner's style best. It's all about compromise. Let's say it again, together, slowly. It's all about compromise. For example, the MCM lover just chose a clean lined leather sofa with yellow accent pillows. This means that the traditional lover now gets the Persian inspired rug of their dreams. They just have to choose one like this in terracotta that complements the sofa. For every traditional inspired item we're adding, we're adding a mid-century modern inspired one too, and vice versa. Now let's finish off the bedroom. Since the dresser is very traditional in nature, we're going to pair it with this MCM table lamp. It will not only modernize the bedroom, but it will provide enough light to get dressed for work in the morning, but not too much light so as to wake up your partner while doing so. We've gotta keep the peace. Underneath, we're adding this faux cowhide rug to modernize the space while maintaining a simple color palette. To enhance the MCM flair, I'm choosing brass and gold as the accent metals, whereas silver or chrome may be more common in traditional spaces. It is simple decisions like this that will help you easily combine styles. Above the bed, we're adding this extremely modern brass chandelier, which pairs well with these gold nightstands. Now, if you want more clothes storage by your bedside, don't worry, you can offer these nightstands instead. Pair your nightstand with these table lamps. Both design styles are fairly clutter-free, so keep the styling on the nightstands to a minimum. Next, I'm introducing this brassy gold again via this arched mirror. Not only does this mirror look great, but it's going to reflect tons of light to help your bedroom look larger, which is never a bad thing. Plus, you need one to get dressed anyway. Remember that regardless of your design style, function comes first. So don't forget the items you need like mirrors and lighting. To finish off the bedroom, I want to add some additional seating because let's face it, you and your partner don't want to sit in the same room at all times. For casual lounging, consider this ottoman that would pair well with those green nightstand lamps. If sitting in the bedroom is going to be a regular thing, I recommend purchasing two of these accent chairs instead. They offer tons of back support so you could sit in them for lounging or working. Since MCM favors greenery, we're adding a tabletop fiddly fig on the dresser. Just above the tabletop fig, we're adding this rustic print that you'd see in a traditional space. And that's it for the bedroom. Now to finish off the living room, we're adding this super modern art piece above the sofa since we chose a traditional art piece in the bedroom. We're also going to add this bold arch lamp so that there is adequate lighting when the sun goes down and a pop of green via a tree in this black and brown planter. Crafting a space for you and your partner is actually very simple. Just figure out what you have in common and once the similarities run out, compromise. That's it for this episode of Interior Motives. Tune in next time for another wildly specific design challenge. Hosting your family for a holiday for the very first time. Whew, we really need this episode.